Today we talk about Sajiriya. Sajiriya is one of the most valuable historical monuments of Sri Lanka. Referred by locals as the 8th wonder of the world this ancient palace and fortress complex has significant archaeological importance and attracts thousands of tourists every year. It is probably the most visited tourist destination of Sri Lanka. Sajiriya was located in the northern Matel district near the town of Dambuda, in the central Sri Lanka. The name refers to a site of historical and archaeological significance, that is dominated by a massive column of rock nearly 200 meters high. Lal Srinivas and Miranda Obasekara described Sajiriya as a post-historical archaeology turning point of Ravana. According to them, Sajiriya may be the Alaka Mandava that was built up before 50 centuries ago by King Kuvara, who was the half-brother of Ravana, as described in the Ramayana. The on top of Sajiriya was built by King Kasyapa, who ruled from 477 to 495 Sechuses this as his royal residence as he was worried of potential attacks from his brother Moglana, the rightful heir to the throne. From atop of Sajiriya, he had unobstructed views of the surrounding area. Western civilization rediscovered Sajiriya in 1831 when British Army Major Jonathan Forbes of the 78th Highlanders discovered the bush-covered summit of Sajiriya on a horseback trip across the island. In the 1890s archaeologist H.C.P. Bell spent some time at Sajiriya, overseeing a small dig and research operation. Places to visit in Sajiriya, the water gardens, framing the main, western approach to the rock. The well-preserved water gardens are like a tiny piece of vessels transported to ancient Sri Lanka, with carefully tended lawns dotted with symmetrically arranged ponds, water channels and diminutive fountains. The Boulder Gardens The Boulder Gardens present a striking contrast to the classical symmetry of the water gardens, comprising a small swathe of picturesque forest, with winding pathways twisting between huge boulders and through quaint rock arches. Many of the boulders are scored with long lines of notches, these would originally have held supports for miniature wooden pavilions which once stood on almost every boulder. The boulder gardens are where the monks of Sajiriya, Lipt, and numerous mementos of this ancient religious community can still be seen amongst the various rocks and cave shelters. Sajiriya damsels, an incongruous pair of Victorian-era spiral metal staircases lead up to a sheltered recess in the rock and the home of Sajiriya's single most celebrated site, the so-called Sajiriya damsels. Commissioned by King Kasapa in the 5th century, this exquisite mural, perhaps the largest ever attempted, is painted onto the sheer rock face, and features 21 beautiful bare-chested women swathed in a layer of fluffy cloud from the waist down, shown scattering flower petals, or offering trays of fruit. The paintings are quite unlike anything else in Sri Lanka, whose artists have usually preferred to concentrate on the highly stylized depiction of Buddhist religious themes. The mirror wall, another of Sijiriya's unique sites is the highly polished mirror wall, plastered with a mixture of burnished lime, egg white, beeswax and wild honey, and covered with a dense spider's web of ancient graffiti left by visitors to the rock over the past 1500 years. The graffiti, something akin to an enormous medieval visitor's book, include numerous short poems and other literary fragments recording early visitors' impressions of the rock, and, particularly, a great many tributes to the heavenly beauty of the nearby damsels. The oldest graffiti date back to the 7th century. The palace and fortress complex are recognized as one of the finest examples of ancient urban planning. Considering the uniqueness of Sajiriya, UNESCO declared it a World Heritage Site in 1982. Sajiriya is an unmatched combination of urban planning, water engineering, horticulture and arts. Thanks for watching.